The Griffs opened conference play with a 1-0 loss at Monmouth, but returned home to tie Quinnipiac. After a hot start in non-conference play, the Griffs were still looking for their first MAC win. I'm Ryan Strain, I'm number four. I am a redshirt junior, and I'm from Clarence, New York. Well, I'm Derek Meyer, I'm number 16. Uh, I'm a senior, and I'm from Clarence, New York. I'm Francesco Strangio, I'm number seven. I'm a sophomore, and I'm from Niagara Falls, New York. I love being in Buffalo. I'm really glad I stayed here because watching everything around here, Western New York is great for soccer. It's very competitive, and I love being a part of it. You know, as a Division One institution in the area, we have a responsibility to the local soccer community. Um, when there are players that are good enough to play our program, then we should be trying our best to get them to come and play here. Family, friends, they all get to come out. It's a great environment. This is where I'm from, so I know a ton of people that come out and support. My mom and dad, they're great. They come out to every game. I get to see my grandparents. You know, it's always really nice to look up at the stands and see them. I'm Italian. Uh, my family's from Italy, so family's a big deal. Um, when choosing a college, I knew I had to stay local. And the nice thing about being local is all my family can come to the games. Uh, and it's, I uh, take pride in that. Throughout my career at Niagara and at Canisius, uh, we've strived to get the best local players, and I think we've done that year in, year out. Um, you've got kids that are used to the area, they're used to the climate. Um, they understand um, the work ethic. So, um, yeah, we've been very successful with uh, Western New York players. Now joined by Dermot McGrain, the head coach of the Canisius College Golden Griffins. I don't think I could be more impressed with your defense. Ryan Schrein and company, they are very impressive. Yeah, I mean, Riders is a team that's been scoring a lot of goals this season. They, they put five on a couple of teams, three on a couple of others. So, uh, you know, to hold them up, I was disappointed we gave up one with five minutes to go in the, in the first half. But, um, yeah, they're, they're very solid. You know, they're mature. They're playing well. Uh, they're managing the game well. So, yeah, I'm very pleased with them. I don't want to ask you necessarily an obvious question, but how did the red card in the first half issue to Riders, Matt Frick, change the complexion of this game? Um, it changed it, um, obviously, but I thought we were already playing well against the wind. I mean, we'd already scored against the wind, uh, which was pretty strong today, and, I, I, you know, we were playing well. So, um, yeah, it definitely affected it. I'll be honest, I thought we were going to win anyway. Um, <laughs> but, you know, obviously being a man down and then in the second half facing that wind, it was always going to be trouble for them. Uh, what was nice, we got to play a lot of guys who haven't seen much of the field this year. Um, so we got a few guys, new faces, some experience, and, and that's always uh, pleasing to do. Thanks for your time, Coach, and congratulations. Thank you. Appreciate it. Dermot McGrain from the Canisius College Golden Griffins coming away with a 4-1 to conference victory over the Ryder Bronx. We'll be back with a final word as our post-game show continues from Buffalo next on Time Warner Cable Sports Channel. My name is Kwame Oduro, originally from Ghana, uh, grew up in Toronto, Ontario. I'm the assistant coach at Canisius College. Kwame played for me for three years. He, he was the rookie of the year um, at a, a different school and transferred into Niagara. Um, I think in three years I suspended him more than any other player I've ever had. Um, so I think he brings a unique perspective to our team. I played for, I played for Dermot um, for about three years at Niagara. Um, it was intense. I think he's mellowed down as a coach. Um, he'll probably tell you this, but I was the most suspended player he's ever had in his life. Uh, but the irony is I'm working for him now. Um, I like to have um, my assistant coaches be ex-players because they understand me, they understand the process, they understand what these players are going through. Um, so, you know, it allows me to be harder on the players uh, because, you know, Kwame then can follow up with a, a perspective having gone through it. I went off to New York City area, Anaya College, coached there for two years. So when I heard he was coming to Canisius, uh, I hopped on the opportunity to come here. The Griffs made it two wins in a row with a shutout of Iona, their first regular season win against the Gales since 2004. It was also the first time since 2009 that they won back-to-back -back conference games. After a loss to Siena and an inspired speech from Dermot McGrain, the Griffs were in position to get back in the win column with a home match against Fairfield. All right, um, they're very organized in the back, they've got good size, uh, and they compete. 
right? Concerned about what they're doing, I'm concerned about what we do, okay? Because that's what's going to either win us or lose us this game, all right? We need to raise the tempo, keep our work rate up, and believe me, they will wear down as the game goes on. We play well at home. It's that simple, all right? It's that simple. We go out, all right, and we play like we're capable of playing, okay? Understand the psychological advantage that we have right now. Everyone that walks into this place, reads our game notes, knows that we're on an unbeaten streak back into last season. That's in the back of their mind, all right? They're already doubting themselves. Expectations were high on the heels of a program record eight-game home unbeaten streak. Instead, the team suffered its first home loss at the hands of Fairfield, being shut out one to nothing. Four days later, the Griss will lose again at home, a heartbreaking 3-2 loss to Marist in overtime. First part of the season, we were doing tremendous, and uh, we had a couple of stumbles along the way. But I really think, as a team, at this point, we've really come closer than we've ever been, and we have that one goal in mind: win MAC championship, get to the playoffs. We had our ups and downs, but you're gonna slip and you're gonna fall um, while you're climbing the mountain, trying to get up to the top. That doesn't stop you from getting back up to the top, so we're gonna keep going. We lost three games, but after those three games, we had a team meeting, we all talked to each other, and I think now we're more closer. We, uh, we're all on the same page about everything, and we have more unity now. We just need to come out and get these two wins, and we can get back on track. Needing to win the remaining three games to keep their playoff hopes alive, the Griffs began the run with a shutout at Manhattan, and the senior class ready to play its final game at the Dembski Sports Complex. The winningest class in school history ended their home careers with a 2-0 defeat of St. Peter's. Now, it's time for the final showdown in Lewiston with Niagara. It's the last chance for these seniors to beat their rivals, something they've been unable to do in their first three years. They head into the game owners of a program record nine wins and a chance to gain ownership of the inaugural Big Four Shield. Yeah, obviously every game is tough. Rivalries, there's a different feel to it. Rivalries are just something that just brings out drive and emotion in the game. You know, you always want to be the best in the area. No matter how your season's going, you want to win that game. Um, so again, you can use it as motivation for your team, regardless whether you've got a winning record, losing records, making the playoffs, not making the playoffs. Personally, I've been looking forward to it since the start of the season. Niagara's been that one rival of Canisius for four years, and we haven't beat them yet, and we need to come out and need to beat them. It's true, every game's intense, but when you're playing your rivalry, it's, it's a different kind of feeling, I suppose. Um, you can lose every game in the season, but if you beat your rivalry, you kind of have accomplished something, all right? There's a sense of pride in that game. I really want to get that win and get that shield, get those points for, for the max. I feel like this year, it's our year to beat them. Tomorrow's supposed to be raining. Uh, 20 to 30 mile an hour winds, okay? So, I don't know whether it's gonna be going up and down the field, or across the field. Basically, we just got to deal with whatever conditions are there, okay? At this point, all we can control is how we play tomorrow night. We can't control the games going on at 2 o'clock. It's out of our hands. So we'll just sit back, see where those results land, right? and maybe we have an idea going into the game what we need to do. 
right? Actually, not really what we need. We just need to win, regardless, right? Um, so, we said in the last game, be focused, but be relaxed. Okay? Focused and relaxed. Let's go in, just play our game, right? We have everything to play for. They're already out of the playoffs. But the rivalry's there. If they can keep us out of the playoffs, it's great for them. If they can win the Big Four Shield, that's something to take away from the season. So, understand, they're going to come out and be ready to play. Right? And that's why we work so hard. It's for moments like these. Season on the line, you get to play a rival. I mean, it doesn't get any better than this. It really doesn't. Keep your voices in check, everybody. And I think I'll do all right. Right? Right. Yeah, boys. You can... All the pressure you can think about doing. It's another game. It's just another game. Right? Like any other, we go out and we win it. That's the bottom line. Right? So, good practice today. Right? Be ready for tomorrow. All right. Let's go, Let's go boys. Let's go. Let's go, boys. Come on. We all know we can win tomorrow. And we got to play as a team if we want to go further than that, right? So we got to work together. It's going to be a group effort. Here we go. Family on three. One, two, three. Family. Family. Okay.